AI isn't making engineers 10 times faster. Here's the reality. The productivity boom is hitting a wall, and I'm watching it happen in real time. If you're paying attention, it's good news for real engineers. At first, AI code generators felt magical. Teams saw faster commits, shorter PRs, and higher velocity. But then the curve kind of flattened. Why? Because the easy problems like syntax, boilerplate, repetitive fixes were the first things to be solved. But the hard stuff, the design decisions, the trade-offs, the architecture, the does this work for our business, that's still all human. Companies are figuring out that the biggest bottleneck isn't code. It's understanding context and seeing the big picture. AI doesn't understand your constraints. It doesn't know your deployment reality, your weird internal dependencies, or that one legacy service that nobody touches because it doesn't work right. And before you say, yes, it can, well, it can't, at least not well anyway. Somebody has to define all that. To define it, you actually have to be good. And that's my point. We've hit what I call the comprehension ceiling. From here, the engineers who will win aren't only measured on output, they're measured on impact as well. They're the ones who can translate messy goals into clean systems. The ones who use AI as an amplifier, not a crutch. And by the way, engineering is a skill, like a muscle. If all you do is lean on LLMs and agents, you're going to atrophy and you're going to start to suck. So if you want to stay valuable in the next wave, focus here. Be good. Know what clean code and architecture actually look like. Understand how your code and decisions fit into the rest of the system. And know how to build things that don't collapse under the weight of your own business. Because the next productivity curve doesn't belong to AI anymore. It belongs to you.